The shingles vaccine does not increase the risk for shingles infection in adults with autoimmune disease, based on a review of Medicare patients. Shingles infection is a condition that afflicts our patients and can have severe complications in post neuralgia or other systemic complications that we are concerned about. And there's been an FDA-approved vaccine available to us. However, current recommendations from the ACR and others recommend that we don't use this live virus vaccine for safety reasons, based mostly on theory that it might not be safe and people might get an infection because this is a live attenuated virus vaccine. And so the problem is, is that most patients who are happy with their biologic therapies are not willing to stop it, get vaccinated and restart it. That's quite cumbersome and for that reason we're nervous about using it for patients with autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis. The problem also is, is that we know that patients with RA have about a 50 to 100 percent increased risk for shingles infection compared to the general population. The key findings were that among almost half a million people with rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, Crohn's disease, and other inflammatory conditions, that the overall rate of zoster infection was about one to two per hundred patient years. We found that there were between six and seven hundred people who received a biologic and were on it at the time they were vaccinated, mostly by primary care physicians, and in the next six weeks when we would be most worried about safety of this, vi of this live virus vaccine, uh, none of them had any evidence that they had shingles infection. So the main objective of the study, is it safe to vaccinate patients on biologic therapy with a live virus vaccine, was addressed by that issue that nobody got the infection. So what's the take-home message for doctors and patients? I think the take-home message is, is that this contraindication to use the live zoster vaccine if you're on a biologic may not be warranted in as much as there's not much data behind it. And this data is reasonably reassuring that perhaps this is an okay thing to do. I don't think that it is strong enough with uh, this single piece of data to change practice or the package inserts that advise us not to do this. But I think it's provocative enough to lead us to the next step and study this in a rigorous prospective way in the form of a safety trial. And you do have a safety trial in the works? The ACR Within Our Reach program has funded us to plan a trial to do this. We still would need the funding to actually conduct the trial. And it would be wonderful if my colleagues, um, both in rheumatology and perhaps in other disciplines, were interested in studying the safety of this because not giving this vaccine really deprives people from the very substantial benefit of a reduced rate of shingles if you're vaccinated. For Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Slate.